Hello, in this lesson I want to look at the process by which we can log customer cases with Inside Sage CRM. You can see that I've logged on as a uh, support user. Uh, this is uh, a, a demo user called Kylie Ward. She's actually the manager for the team and we're looking at her dashboard and uh, looking at the head-up display that's showing what's going on inside the system. But here I'm going to go off look at an existing customer within the side of the system. So this is coming into the company Eurolandia and we're going to log a case. So I'm going to click on the new and create uh, here a new case. Uh, um, we are guided by workflow uh, at this stage, so um, in an implementation that you might be working with, it, it may look a little bit different in terms of the screens, the screens that are required to be entered onto the field. But um, basically we would enter in here uh, perhaps different, uh, uh, different example uh, text that we might want to put in here um, and giving details of what, what's wrong with the particular case. So um, uh, I can't set the password uh, and then whatever the rest of the information is in here I put in the details and um, I'm assigning it to myself because this is down to the to uh, really the the choices that uh, the uh, implementer of the the workflow would be making so it's going to be a slightly different experience depending on what you you want to choose now i you'll notice there here i've not chosen to enter in service level agreement so i'm going to come in and edit that in a moment but um this is one of the choices that we can make to affect the way in which uh, the the uh, information the the case is going to be processed and to have any escalation behavior associated with it uh, i'm going to change this and now put in a service level agreement and what we'll find is that there is a rule associated with this that uh, if i've specified it as belonging to a particular service level agreement um then i must also specify a severity with that uh, and this is because um, we are now tying in with another level of uh, behavior. So I'm going to choose this and say that must enter a service level agreement and I've chosen a severity for that as well. Now this might be above and beyond anything that we might be listing in terms of my assessment or, 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 the, or the assessment uh, that the customer may have made um, indicating that this is high severity so it's a slightly different uh, mechanism uh, to do with the way in which information is processed this is if you like two separate uh, little processes going on here uh, you can read more about those and learn more about those with the idea of looking at uh, service level agreements and also looking at the idea of workflow as well but here i'm going to process this so i'm starting to process this i enter in tracking information so this is this is queued uh, for investigation so this is uh, and I could have reassigned it at this moment but I'm leaving it still here for Kylie Ward and anything of course that we're putting into this point into the tracking information is uh, is being entered and kept at this point as we go through now I can uh, now choose to uh, push the record through its uh, investigatory cycle I can enter in information so this is a additional data uh, that I'm entering in here uh, I can uh, choose to send emails to to the uh, to the contact I, all of these sorts of points are then um, actually uh, governed by the workflow that we want everything being tracked in terms of any documents that we've added in any merge uh, documents that we've added in and any communications that we might have all entered in here so uh, here I can put this as a task and saying so this is a test email message uh, with attachment maybe uh, attachment and description So any 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 types of communications that I might want to put in here, so I can I can um, push on and do. So this this is describing the things that uh, the general work pattern that we might have within the cases. If I uh, go back onto the summary page for this, we can see now um, I can still push on with the with the workflow. 
Um, here I can indicate that I'm waiting for a response uh, from the customer. And I might actually then uh, want to be able to uh, reassign it, uh, perhaps, or indicate that it is in a queue for work. So bringing it back into this, and perhaps I am now uh, waiting for it to be solved. So if I confirm that it's being investigated, uh, and then uh, indicate that it's been solved as well. That's something that I can do here. Now this is where workflow uh, from uh, the cases can interact with another entity, which is called a solution. So you can put in the details in here as to uh, the uh, details of the solution. So this, uh, this needs to be done. And I can choose save. And that marks the the uh, ideal solution for this case. Now it might be that I, I this actually just um, is resolved, uh, but it might also be that I want to be able to uh, consider that this is associated with the solution, and therefore I can create a new solution uh, linked to this case. And so you can see that I can bring across information uh, that I want. It could actually merge information through. I haven't done that at this stage, but this is a test. Uh, solution. So I can uh, enter in details in here and I can choose save and I've created for myself a uh, solution and the important thing is that this solution is now linked to that particular case as well uh, and solutions can be linked to multiple cases. Have a look at uh, some of the training videos that uh, are associated with solutions and workflows and you'll be able to see how you can match the, the two together. Okay that's uh, essentially logging the case.